Okay, I'm doing a test with a Photon XT 6.5 power digital night vision scope. I have a coyote mount out here at 60 yards. And this is a 6.5 power scope. Um, I have a TR38 light, uh, 850 nanometer light. It's on high setting. Easy shot at 60 yards. Now I'll go down to a low power. That's low. And here is medium. And high. Again, this is an 850 nanometer uh, light. Um, 60 yards on the coyote. This distance on out the path up here, this is in the woods behind my house. This area right here is 94 yards to this wood pile is 94 yards. So that would be an easy coyote kill out to there. So this 6.5 scope uh, gives good magnification. You do lose a little bit of uh, field of view. But if you're hunting at a bait side or uh, at a distance, uh, it's not bad. Now I'm going to change the uh, color of the reticle and see what we can see how it looks here. Red is pretty good at this particular scene. Uh, I'm going to go to green. That's okay. White just about washes out because of the lighter color on the coyote. So it looks like in this instance the red works better. At the 94 yard distance the green seems to work a little better against the dark background and the white. So it depends on the background. If, um, if you're shooting at a, a black hog or something dark the uh, the green or the um, or the white works pretty good now I have switched out to a 940 nanometer appeal the good thing about the TR38 is that it has interchangeable pills you can use an 850, a 940, or you can even get a, a red light if you want to hunt with a light. Uh, but this is uh, 60 yards with a 940 nanometer peel. Plenty of light. Okay, I have moved the coyote to the 94 yard range. And this is what the photon sees with the TR38 on the high setting. It's not bad. It's um, pretty good. 6.5 power scope. Easy shot at 94 yards. I'm going to change the color of the crosshair just to see what it looks like. So we have it on green right now and that's, that's not bad. And now we go to white. That looks pretty good. And red. Red is a little bit darker, but can still be used, so about any of them would work, but I guess I like the white or the green better at this distance. As I mentioned before, the 6.5 power scope has less field of view, so if a guy were calling uh, for coyotes, he probably might want a little bit more field of view. But for hunting coyotes or hogs over a bait site, uh, the 6.5, in my opinion, is the way to go, uh, unless you're shooting very close range. I like a little more magnification to be able to see where I'm aiming and the target better. This is the coyote at 94 yards with the 940 nanometer peel. 
as I mentioned, the TR series lights are easy to change out. You simply uh, screw a different uh, peel in and you can change the uh, wavelength of the light. At 94 yards, when I look back uh, from my shooting position here, I can see no light at all. No red glow or anything. The red glow is visible around 60 yards, but at 94 I don't see anything. This is a distance of about 60 yards with the Photon 6.5 power digital scope. Have a full moon, uh, a light snow. I'm not using any illumination at all. As you can see, I have plenty of light with no illumination. And I can brighten, brighten it up pretty good or darken it. This distance up here to the wood pile is 94 yards. So that's not doing too bad. Um, no illumination at all. I won't close the, the lens cap. I have it completely open and see what it looks like. Okay, I have the lens cover closed and I can still see but just not as good and this area right here is 60 yards but now this is in the woods a lot of trees so it's not gathering a whole lot of light but with the lens cap open it's totally different so this is pretty good no illumination at all I have a full moon and a light snow on the ground and I'm looking at a distance I'm guessing about 60 yards. I have the uh, centerpiece punched out of the, the lens cover and I can brighten it up so at that distance I don't need any illumination at all and that looks not too bad but I'm going to open the lens cap and that really brightened things up so I'm going to have to actually dial this down a little bit but as you can see with the photon um, I don't need any illumination at all of course like I say there's a light snow and a full moon that looks pretty good. Right here I'm looking at a distance of about 100 yards. And this is with the lens cap completely open. Full moon and a light snow covering. 